Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I'm talking about a game on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, this is a game called Slalom. And I never talk about the NES, and there's a reason for that. One little button I will talk about someday. Uh, but this is actually a game I found out about through Sega Lord X. He does um, mostly Sega content, obviously, by the name of his channel. Uh, but he talked about Nintendo games worth playing if you're a Sega fan, and this was one of them. This is Slalom, which is basically a skiing game. I'm just uh, cycling through the different uh, mountains here. I guess I want to go Snowy Hill as a beginner, because that's what's sort of the default. Um, as a fan of an Atari 2600, I actually like the look of this because it looks like the old skiing game for the Atari 2600, but from a behind the skier point of view. So I wanted to try this out. I've never seen this, never played this. Let's give it a whirl. Snowy Hill qualifying run. Okay, yeah, you can see there, I'm, I'm a skier, and I'm assuming, yeah, just like the Atari game, I just wanna go side to side. I wanna avoid other, whoa, that's a bad thing. Okay, what happens if I push forward? Do I go faster? Ooh, he does lean down. If I pull back to us, yeah, you can slow down. That's cool. Very, oh, and you can jump over those. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's get some speed here. I think I want to pass this other person. Oh no, I'm on a qualifying run, aren't I? So I really just want to get down the hill as fast as I can. You know, I was never actually that big of a fan of the Atari game for skiing either. There's something in it that's just a little too slow. Oh no! But what um, really got me kind of intrigued with all of these games is there was one on um, iOS, or not even iOS, I, back on my old Palm Pilot, I actually had a game that was like skiing, and it was a lot of fun. Just the left and right, very simple. This kind of intrigues me. I'm liking the look of this. Let's uh, let's proceed. So did I did I qualify? Uh, I guess so because I got a bonus and I'm on to the next hill. All right. So it's now. Am I supposed to be going on the other side of those? Is that where I want to be? No. I wouldn't think they would make it that hard. I'm thinking now. I'm no skier, so I want to be on the side where the flags are, don't I? Yes, because you want to go through those. Okay, so. Aim for where the flag is pointing. Oh yeah, it does get hard. <laughs> but I really quite like this. This is a lot of fun. You're in my way. Come on, come on. Let's get past you. Good. Music's a lot of fun. Ooh. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting into some trouble. Okay. And I keep hearing a thumping noise. Oh, that was actually just me hitting the trees, hitting the uh, flagpoles. I'm assuming I get docked points or time for missing those. Is that right? That's a typical way these things work. Okay. Now, I don't know if that glitch in the center is due to the way I'm playing this game or like, is it my capture card or is it actually in the game? It does give things a neat kind of a uh, you're going down a hill, and that's a, a sort of a bend in the hill ahead. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> I'm actually quite enjoying this. Yeah. Man. I There were other games... Why are you slowing down? Oh, is that my run? That's my run. Game over. I guess I didn't qualify. Darn it! Uh, so I failed the run. <laughs> Alright, well, let's do another one. Let's try it again. So it looks like it's got quite a lot of uh, depth to it. Uh, ah, okay. Let's uh, let's just go. I want to do again here. All right, snowy hill. Again, the qualifying run. Let's pay attention this time. All right. So we know we need to stay on that side of the flags. Ooh, okay. Now it's starting to get a little tricky. Yeah. Good music. I like the effect of going over the little hills there. That's neat. But it seems like it's quite challenging if I failed that um, second bunny hill as easily as I did. I have a feeling, like a lot of the games of this era, you know, there was this sort of pixel-perfect mentality going on with a lot of stuff. 
and I have a feeling this is more of the same. Ah, jeez, stop hitting the trees. Come on, you're still on your qualifying run here. Okay. Stay. Okay, did that work? He's jumping. I think that's a good thing. Did I qualify? I must have qualified. Okay, here we go. Sure, I think that's the same as last time. Which means I'm also going to fail when it comes to cotton candy. All right. Oops. Nope, not pause. Okay. Do the other buttons do it? Oh, you can jump. Okay. So, yeah, the button jumps, or you can just push forward. Do I want, maybe I could try jumping over one of the. <laughs> I was gonna say try jumping over the tree. Oh, jeez. Come here. Yeah, very cool. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Come on. I don't think this means you're going to see more Nintendo Entertainment System stuff from me. I've never been a fan of that console. As I say, for one little button, which I will probably talk about one day. But why spoil it at this point? Okay, let's go through these. But you know what? This is, this is a lot of fun. Ooh, shoot. You well, know, you can bounce off the trees, that's good. Ooh, oh, come on, that must have counted. Okay, come on. Uh, you probably want to go through more of those sets of flags than I'm doing. It's got a nice sense of speed to it, though. Come on, really? I didn't get through there? Well, I got about 17 seconds left, and I don't think this is going to go well for me. Especially if I keep doing that. Oh, let's see if we can at least pull through. Let's at least get one little victory here. Come on. No. <laughs> oh, well, so that's slalom for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Very cool. I like it. Um, I'm going to have to give it some more practice. That's, that's a neat little discovery. So thanks, Sega Lord X, for telling me about that one. I, uh, I quite value that um, little discovery. All right, well, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.